Oh, it's been such a long time. Oh, hello, little one. How are you? What have you got there? Oh, how interesting. I haven't seen these in such a long time. A book of runes. Ah, I remember these. Perfect, thank you. What would you like to know? You'd like to know what they are. Ah, these. These are runes. These are something that people of the old time would use similar to tarot cards or astrology. These are our beliefs people had. I've had these for such a long time and I haven't seen them. Thank you for finding them for me. Oh, you'd like to know more about them? Okay, well, what you would normally do is that I would do a, uh, a, root, a reading for you. And uh, that's something that might uh, give you answers to questions that you might have. Oh, you'd like a reading from old, old granddad. Okay. Hmm, it's been such a long time. Just give me a minute and just let me have a look at what we can do for you. Uh, so these are some of the different runes and they all have names and meanings. Ooh, this book is quite old, many years ago. Did I look into this? Why? Ah, that is an interesting story. Some time ago, when I was younger, similar to your age, I spoke to someone, someone that might you might call as a psychic person, and she mentioned that in one of my past lives, I was a druid, which is uh, quite interesting. Not that I recall any of this previous past life. But she suggested that I look into trying some runes and that I may find them quite interesting. And so after some time, I decided to purchase a bag of runes and this book. And I quite enjoyed it and I found a, a connection with these runes. And I believe that I have um, a connection with these runes that allows me to uh, help find the correct rune for yourself or myself. Let me just have a look. Here we go. Okay. I think this is something we could do. It's called a runic cross. And, uh, what this does is it gives you a little bit of a uh, overview to the past, the future, where you are now, any challenges that you might have, uh, situations, and sort of like a foundation that might help you. We could do something like that if you like. Just give me one moment. question. How do I select the correct rune? That is a very interesting question and I think it's a very important uh, question to, to understand. So for myself personally, I believe each person has to find their own way of, of doing things. And so for myself, I find that I uh, have like a, 
kind of like a, a, a sense in my hand that when I find the right rune, it seems to stick to my finger and I carefully draw it out. And whether the rune is upside down or the correct way up will change the meaning. And it's not in a bad way, it's just the way that the runes can be drawn out of the bag. No, no, you do not have to draw the runes if you do not like. I can do it for you. So how this will work is you, you need to think of a, a question or a problem that you may have that you would like some guidance or some help with. Okay, so just, just think for a second. How does the runes know the answers to your questions? I, I, I can't really explain that, but the way that uh, my belief is that, that the runes are some, there's some type of connection and, and that you know what the answer is and the runes are trying to help you, to give you guidance, to help you find your correct path that will help you in your journey. Okay, let us begin. Now you must think of a question. It could be a question of Will I do well at school? Or maybe a better way is, what do I need to do to achieve the result that I'm looking for, whether it is in a school, work, in a relationship, whether it's financial? So I want you now to think about a question and just close your eyes and just think, of that question and then we'll allow those thoughts to transfer and here we shall draw the runes so the first rune is the rune of the past And so here, I try and concentrate to feel the correct rune for you. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. Just give me one moment. We have drawn. Which rune is this? Okay, so that one will be your past. That is the rune Manes. Let's just read what it says. the self. If you feel blocked, Manas urges you to begin by being clear with yourself. Do not turn to others now, but look inside for what is blocking you. 
No matter what area of your life is in disarray, stop and consider. You will recognize the outer enemy as but a reflection of what you have not, until now, have been able or willing to recognize as coming from within. Above all, do not give yourself airs. Breaking the momentum of past habits is the challenge here. So here, your question, it's about you. And so, in the past, there have been things that have been blocking you and you've been seeking to remove those blocks. So that there is your past and that is good because you know and you already know that you have something that's stopping you. And here we will try and answer and give you uh, some suggestions on how you might move forward in this situation or question. Okay, the future. The future is always unknown, unwritten. You can make of it what you will. Do not be scared, do not be afraid for challenges. Sometimes you must leap the chasm to get to the other side. And once you are there, all fear will fly away. We have drawn another rune. <coughs> so we have drawn the rune Perth reversed. A counsel against expecting too much or expecting in the ordinary way. For the old way has come to the end. You simply cannot repeat the old and not suffer. Call in your scattered energies. Concentrate on your own life at this moment. For your own requirements for growth. More important, this rune counsels you to neither focus on outcomes nor bind yourself with the memory of past achievements, for in doing so, you rob yourself of the true present moment, the only time in which self-change can be realized. You may feel overwhelmed with exhaustion from meeting obstruction upon obstruction in your passage, yet always you have a choice. You can see this apparent negativity as bad luck or you can recognize it as an obstacle course, a challenge specific to the initiation that you are presently undergoing to test your character. So here, you may come across some roadblocks in your future, but instead of being dismayed or disappointed or or feeling stress from the situation, look at it like an obstacle course, something for you to overcome, a challenge. And this is something that will help you grow in character. Do not be afraid of, of obstacles, things that block you. Think of it as a challenge for you to overcome so that you may find your true path. All right. Now we choose the rune of where you are now. Let's see, what have we chosen? Kano, reversed. 
Let us look at this. So this room is where you are now. So let's read what it says. The danger is that through hasty or ill-timed action, life force leaks out or is spilled away. If an association is short-lived, do not grieve. Know that it has fulfilled its span. Matters of trust and confidence are at issue here, and with them the authenticity of your way of being in the world. Reversed, this calls for examining your motives carefully. Why are you doing some of the things that you're doing? Is it self-conquest? with which you are concerned, or are you trying to dominate another? Are you lusting after outcomes, or are you focused on the task for its own sake? You will find answers within yourself, not in outside advice. When you consult the runes, you are consulting the self, an appropriate action to the spiritual warrior. You are the spiritual warrior, you do not need to seek answers from other people. You have all the answers that you need. Trust in yourself. Follow your instinct. Now we look at the foundation. Something that might be, give you information to help you. the correct way flow water that which conducts so this is about your foundation unseen powers are active here powers that nourish and shape and connect so there is an underlying force here that you have access to all you need to do just be calm and focus and relax and listen to yourself. The attributes of this rune are water, fluidity, and the ebb and flow of emotions, careers, and relationships. This rune encourages you to immerse yourself in the experience of living without having to evaluate or understand it speaks to the satisfaction of emotional needs, to the awakening of the intuitive or lunar side of your nature. For while the sun strives for differentiation, the moon draws us towards its union and merging. This rune often signals a time for cleansing, for revaluing and reorganizing and realigning. A rune of deep knowing, like as means, to call you to study spiritual matters in readiness for self-transformation. Success now lies in contacting your intuitive wisdom and attuning to your own rhythms. A rune of the self relating rightly to the self, this rune signifies what alchemists called the conjecto or the sacred marriage. In fairy tales, it is the end where the hero and the heroine live happily ever after. So this rune, I believe, is confirming this pattern of cross, that you are on a pathway, a journey. There will be many obstacles that you must overcome. Do not be scared. Do not be worried. 
Look at them as a challenge, something for you to overcome. And each obstacle that you overcome, you will get closer to your goal, which is just to be simply you. To be happy in your skin, to be happy with your achievements, to be happy, but also to find more achievements, to find more that will help you to grow. And when you find the challenges, overcome them. Oh, the challenge. Let us see what we draw here. drawn the rune of Jera. So this rune cannot be reversed. This is the harvest, the fertile season. A rune of beneficial outcomes, Jera applies to any activity or endeavor to which you are committed. Be aware, however, that no quick results can be expected. A span of time is usually involved. Hence, the key words, one year, symbolizing a full cycle before reaping the harvest of a deliverance. You have prepared the ground and planted the seed. Now, you must cultivate with care to those who labor a long season, a long coming to term. Jera offers encouragement of success. Know that the outcomes is in keeping of the providence and continue to preserve. Remember the old story about the farmer who was so eager to assist his crops that he went out at night and tugged on the new shoots. There is no way to push the river Equally, you cannot hasten the harvest. Be mindful that patience is essential for recognition of your own process, which in its season leads to the harvest of yourself. So here again, this rune confirms that you are on the correct pathway. You will have challenges, but be patient. There will be a day that comes in the very near future, where you realize that you have achieved a number of things that you hold dear to you. Be patient and give it time for those dreams to realize themselves. All right, the last room, the new situation. Let us see what we can find here. So this room might tell us what it is that you will achieve with patience and overcoming obstacles. This room is Iwas. So again, this refers to movement that appears 
to block. Be certain in what you're doing or not doing is timely. There are no missed opportunities. You have simply to reorganize or recognize that not all opportunities are open to you, that not all possibilities are for you. The opportunity at hand may be precisely to avoid action. If you are feeling at loss or unclear about the need to act, consider what is timely to your nature and remember what is yours will come to you. So <clears throat> this might signify that that maybe some of your dreams may not be achievable and that you could be satisfied with uh, other thoughts or or dreams that you may have. So where you may dream to go to the moon, you may um, end up being happy just being someone that works on the ground. And if you uh, desire something, maybe reduce your expectation on what it is that, that you would like. I think it's really important just to be happy with what you've got. Think about it, really. What is it that you need to be happy? It's your thoughts. It's you, your mind, your health. Some water, some food, some shelter. Friends and family. These are the things that you should value most in life. Did you enjoy that little one? Ah, you're always welcome to come back and see Grandad. All right, I think it's time. Nana.